Okay guys, today we are going to show you how to program a Hunter node device. So I'm just going to reach in the box and pull that out. So you use these devices when you don't have any uh, power options. So, or a where you can put a, a controller on the wall. So these are great little devices that um, allow you to hook up to those solenoids and um, they come in single stations, twos and fours, um, and allow you to go off your water source um, without having to uh, have any electrical cable. So they, they work a lot like the, um, the Hunter X-Core. So your enter button is it what uh, drives you through uh, each screen. So you can see it's date there. Now it's gonna take us through to our, um, our date. So I've already programmed this controller, but we'll take you through the steps. So 2018, um, so obviously we've got our month flashing here, followed by next our day, yep, our across, and then we've got our PM, and obviously guys, as per the um, X cores, the plus the minus buttons is what's gonna get us to, um, to where we uh, need to go, um, finding our program. So I'm gonna leave it on 24 hour clock there, go over by just by pressing the arrow button and then again up and down to get our required time yep and oh, just ticked over on me so there you go um, that's our first section so hit the enter button again all right so this is our start time so we only ever want one start time um, unless you're doing uh, new lawns or things like that. So here we're, we've installed uh, a new lawn, so we want three start times. So we've got it at 5 a.m., 12 o'clock, and three o'clock in the afternoon. So being the hottest part of the day here in WA. So yeah, so we've got those requirements and the fourth start time is set to off. Okay, then our, so to set those times, obviously those arrow buttons across, gives you your start times. And then the plus minus buttons is um, how to select the time that you want to start. So they do move by the minute, but when you do hold that down for a long period of time, it does go fairly quickly, well, fairly quickly as you can see. And then after you've got probably about two hours on the clock, it starts going by the hour, not just by the minute. So I'm gonna take that around back to um, 5 a.m. because that's my initial start time. Uh, there we go, so it's set to 5 a.m. Okay, and that's 12 and three. All right, so right on the desired times. Okay, so we're just gonna hit the edit button again. It's gonna take us to our next slot, um, which is our run times for our stations. So with the, um, uh, the hunter nodes that have two stations and four stations, um, you can select one of them to be, or station one, to be a master valve. So that's what I've done here in this case. So where it's got the MV flashing at the top, that's where you know it's the master valve. So to do that, I'm gonna turn it off for you for now. So this is how it'll look when it comes standard. So there's no MV at the top. To hold, to make that, um, or to select so, uh, solenoid number one as your master valve is you press that minus button and just wait and that MB flashes at the top being master valve and then you know that's selected as your master valve then arrow across for your run times so we're using the MP rotators on this one so to get our desire, uh, desired 10 mil for the for the day we've we've chosen uh, 26 minutes for the three times and there we go with uh, including the evaporation in, in that one in our calculations so so there we go there's our run times and again the plus buttons and the minus buttons to choose your desired run time our across yep there we go so we know desired run our total run time for every every start okay we're going to hit the end button again okay just like the other hunter controllers and definitely the x core model um you can turn on your watering days or off your watering days by hitting the minus or the plus button. So see how you can see how these icons are turning off as they go through. And we're just gonna go back and turn them all on now because we are gonna be 
watering every day as it's new turf installed here. So, and across. Now this is our seasonal percentage uh, settings. So obviously you can go up to 150% or down all the way to 10% too. So we want to keep that because we've done our, our calculations on 100% run rate. So we're going to leave that as 100%. But obviously in your uh, fringe periods, you can turn that down. So by pressing enter there, that'll select it. And we're going to go back to our run times now. And oh, I'm going to go through. Oh, I went through the wrong one. There we go. So those have now come down to 18 minutes, as you can see there. So we'll go back to that and go back to 100%. Okay, and then back to our run times. Oh, master valve. Run times are back up to 26 minutes. So there we are, guys. Um, I was jumping through a, a fair bit there, so I hope I didn't confuse anyone. Right, so our next button here is our off button. So our normal run time or normal running is when you see the clock, but if you have to shut off your controller like we have to do in WA for our, our seasonal switch off, our winter seasonal switch off, um, you want to get to this off screen. And what that'll do is actually just switch the whole controller off um, for those three months of the year. And um, to activate it again, all you have to do is hit that enter button. So when you see the clock displayed, then you're ready to go. All right, guys, well, that's how we program and set a Hunter node. I'm just gonna pack that away now. And that can sit back in the box nicely, like that. So it's all nice and neat with its master valve. It's two stations. And I'll just put the lid back on. There we go. Thanks, guys.